been getting a lot of sensual loving energy many of the divine masculines are coming forward and they're trying very much to show the divine feminines how much she means at this time and it doesn't matter if you guys are in physical communication or not many of you are picking up on this energy intuitively and it's coming through in dreams <music> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is doing incredibly well. Today I have a short and sweet reading for you guys. I wanted to tap into the masculine collective a little bit because I've been getting a lot of sensual, loving energy. Many of the divine masculines are coming forward and they're trying <laughs> very much to show the divine feminines how much she means at this time and it doesn't matter if you guys are in physical communication or not many of you are picking up on this energy intuitively and it's coming through in dreams the visions around you are leading up to communication with your counterpart and i feel many of you need the message of trust trust your own feelings your own vibes um, trust what you've been shown from your own spiritual guidance and um, you know that's the type of energy that you really want to create momentum with okay i'm getting like to tell many of you like stay in your own lane when it comes to manifesting your twin flame journey and um, i think some of the challenges as well that we're faced with is listening to naysayers and there's always people around us who are doubting the energy of true love and whether it exists um, whether or not we're crazy whatever the case is allow people to be in their own space when it comes to the way they interpret love um, and when it comes to the way you and in, are interpreting your own twin flame journey um, just trust what's being shown and the guidance that you're given that comes from a very genuine and authentic place okay and what that means is when you get information about your twin flame journey and it makes you feel very high vibrational um, it makes you feel very aligned with what's going on um, you know that's the energy that you really want to like roll with again creating momentum is what i get and when you listen into readings that um you know you can always tell by like the title or the thumbnail or the writing on the thumbnail what you're getting into so be careful protect your energy um, if you know that right now at this time it's easy for you to get triggered into low vibrational frequencies when it comes to your counterpart's karmic situation for example stay clear of those readings trust that your divine masculine or your divine feminine they have the courage and strength to get through their own karmic lessons and um, you know at this time many of us are just being focused to call in the best experiences for our love life okay and whatever that means for many of you the universe will match your vibration so yeah i'm just getting like messages to tell you guys to end a lot of worry and doubt your masculines are really coming in to tell you guys like there's again no turning back it was like the letter i shared yesterday on the channel um they won't stop coming back guys like the cycles are always evolving um your masculines will come towards you you guys will intimately bond exchange share some kind of tower moment will happen a dark night of the soul um, it's meant to help you grow separation happens to help you heal um, away from your twin so that you know what's happening in your own individual journey a lot of lessons that you have to face that has nothing to do with your twin flame oftentimes um, and then you guys reconnect when the energy is is good again okay and reconnection is happening for a lot of you so hold on to that 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 energy that you feel that's very like optimistic and positive because yeah i i feel a lot of loving energy coming from the masculines okay now i'm going to use the romance angel oracle deck to get additional messages for those who have found this message who have found this video your masculine wants to speak to you right now about what's going on with them how they feel towards you divine feminine and what they think about the twin flame connection at this time all right let's get it started okay these two want to be left back
All right, so let's get the cards sorted out here. The first one I actually noticed that fell out was the Love Yourself First card. And I feel that many of the Divine Masculines are actually coming forward um, to make communication with their Divine Feminines because a lot of the Divine Feminines have really honed in on their individuality on this journey. Um, many of you have carried yourself is what I'm getting. You've had a lot of optimism. Um, we have the optimistic card as well. Um, a lot of optimism on this journey. It's like taking accountability for your own emotions. Um, I love my masculine and whether he reciprocates it or not, this is my truth and I'm owning it. And many of you have stayed in that energy while giving your divine masculine all of the space that he needs in order to see himself and his emotions and the way that he is interacting with you on this journey many of you have pushed that energy towards him and allowed him to figure it out um, but at the same time you remained optimistic with the love that came into your life the lessons that it's taught you in terms of self-development self-empowerment and um, just also the way that you you think about romance right positive thinking and faith will bring you romance Okay, a lot of you have trusted what you felt on this journey and, um, you know, in turn, like it's caused you to create a lot of um, projects for yourself to work on other areas of your life in terms of career, finances, connecting with other like minded souls, family, tribe, soul tribes. Um, you guys are starting to see that a lot of this twin flame journey is not just about the romance and the love and the sexual chemistry, but a lot of that energy and that vibration is making you feel sexually attracted to your career, to feel sexually attracted to um, finding your soul tribe. And when I say sexually, many people might think of that as very perverse, but sexual energy is creative energy. You feel like the, the need to birth something new. Um, and it, it comes in all types of forms. Like That's why this whole twin flame love is very transforming. It gets you to put yourself into an optimistic state of mind when it comes to existing in this world. Many of you have not only attracted this type of romantic and true love, but a lot of you are becoming entrepreneurs. You are having businesses on the side, uh, using law of attraction and manifestation to create the reality that's like in your head here. You know, many of you are starting to take the visions and the imagination out of your head and create it as a physical reality for yourself. And although your divine masculine has really put you through the ringer or vice versa, your feminine has put you through the ringer, you guys are coming out on top. You're using those valuable lessons of pain, despair, the tower moments, the dark nights, and you're rising like a phoenix from the ashes. You are becoming more resilient when it comes to going after your goals and dreams. And I think that for a lot of you, you know, the reconciliation is happening because you're starting to see your twin flame as this great teacher. Yes, they bring about lessons of pain and despair, but at the same time, what it does to you afterwards, the energy that it brings about that makes you even stronger is what makes you fall in love with your twin flame. It's what makes you want to reconnect with them to get more. Um, it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So again, a lot of you who may not be physically connecting with your twin flame, um, but you feel them very strongly in the physical, don't let any thoughts get into the way of like, this is impossible, I'm imagining it. No, they're coming forward. That's your reality. You better call it in because it's coming, right? Many masculines as well are starting to see that this could be the one. Um, it sounds really cheesy, really cliche, but in their mind, like that's the way they're looking at it, right? Because we can't get away from social conditioning here on the planet. Um, it's everywhere in terms of how we should perceive love. So forgive him, but at this time he's having this really cliche, cheesy moment um, where he's looking at his feminine and saying like, she's it, that's it for me. And again, there's no turning back. I will never stop coming towards you because I cannot help it. <laughs> it's like he's attracted to you because he's attracted to soul growth. All right, so it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. The minute you guys laid eyes on each other, you both knew. Whether that took you some time after you initially met, you both knew. You both know at this time that this twin flame love is it. Like this is what you came here to experience. And the more you fight it, the more lessons and cycles will occur. The more you guys start accepting it and start embracing your own individual journeys, the more it's like magnetized. You guys are magnetized to each other. The minute you surrender and let go and start enjoying life and moving forward, 
It's like your paths cross. <laughs> All right. It's because the universe is telling you guys you deserve love. Okay, you're lovable, you deserve love. You've always wanted love your entire life, okay? And now it's manifesting, so don't run from it. You know, welcome it in. Say say to yourself the affirmation, like everything happens in divine timing and trust it, all right? You guys are definitely being called to remain optimistic. I have the black and gold tarot, and this is for those of you who, despite a lot of these cards and the messages coming out, you might be saying to yourself, well, you know what, like that's all great and dandy, but they're not coming out in the physical and I can't help but feel triggered by that. Let's see what they're going through that's preventing that from happening to give you guys a little bit more clarity. Okay, what's coming up at the top here? So we have the page of wands. Okay, so when it comes to our page of wands, like this whole love thing is new for them. Okay, but it doesn't mean that they're not planning on making plans to be very decisive about what it is they want. They know it's something completely new, but it's time to declare their affiliation with this twin flame experience. They can't get away from it, no matter how much they try and explain it. You know, and I feel like now many of the masculines are in a space now where they don't care what other people think about this whole twin flame love, the fact that their divine feminines <laughs> might appear as like a witch or, you know, some kind of like, sorceress in the outside world you know i feel like the the mind masculine's like polishing up his wand here saying you know i have a bit of that magic in me too and if it wasn't for her i would have never known that like just because many of your masculines have met you divine feminines um they're taking on new ventures and new creative projects with a lot more ease because they've seen you do the same and you've ended up on top so they're learning from you. They watch you very closely. They see a lot of what it is you do. And despite what anybody in their physical world says about you, Divine Feminine, they see the magic within you, connecting with you, whatever it is you bring to the table. They want some of that. And they know that by connecting with you on an authentic level, and when you guys bond and exchange in conversation, um, you are helping the Divine Masculines to grow spiritually, while many Masculines in turn are helping you to develop, um, like, you know, personally in, in the material world. He's helping you to develop a lot of your strengths here on earth and you're helping him to connect more with like the spiritual side of him because he's got it going on in the material world. He's like the magician, but I feel like the feminine brings in those visions of like what to manifest that will bring him that satisfaction. He, she helps him tap in to what, what it is that brings him satisfaction. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to go for what's at the bottom now. All right, so we have, oh, this came up in a personal reading, um, but we have the Four of Wands, okay? Um, this is what I mean by like the Page of Wands and then the Four of Wands coming up. He knows that by connecting with his Divine Feminine, he's bound to receive all of this victory. Many of your masculines want a home life. They want like comfort, like they want to just come home and Netflix and chill with you and like have the house smelling like dinner and like many masculines too they're growing out of like this whole like bachelor lifestyle enjoying the single life like they're aging and they're starting to see that it's like you know according to psychology according to my research um it's actually very natural for them to enter these phases in their life where they want something more and for many of them they just want stability and the four is all about stability okay it's about just being calm and having structure around you four walls four wands okay um th they've been like all over the place crazy and now they're just like no i want to come home to a house with four walls a bedroom a bathroom like <laughs> a lot of them just want to go to work come home have a shower you know and relax in their feminine's arms and i feel like she's happy to do that they're happy to come home and see their divine feminines working on her own creative endeavors and sneak up behind her and hold her from behind and give her a nice kiss on the cheek, you know, knowing that it's like they're safe is what I get with this card. Safety along with stability um, is coming up here. You're safe with your divine feminine masculines. She's there to build with you and to grow with you. Okay, and I feel like many of you have seen her go through this whole journey on her own where like you see this deserve love card here she gave that to herself she started seeing herself as lovable she started moving away from needing your validation to be lovable 
And I think that because you guys are twin flames, in turn it mirrors and you started seeing yourself as lovable because your divine feminine loved you. You know what? You know that like feeling divine masculines? It's like, you know what? Like, again, I don't really care what anybody says. I'm just going to go after what it is I want here and commit myself to a new experience because at the end of the day, what continuously comes up for this divine masculine is that you know, balance is waiting to happen. You know, as much as you want to have her back, she's got yours and you enjoy that knowing. It promotes feelings of safety and trust, something that you've longed for um, for a really long time, masculine. All right, go ahead and trust this connection. Reach out, do what it is you're guided to do from your, your heart space and, you know, you can't go wrong. Your heart is your compass. All right, I love you guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I will speak to you soon. Bye.